Hello, and welcome to my very first YouTube product review video. My name is Scott Evans, and I own InStyle Photography. I am a professional photographer based out of Houston, Texas, with over 15 years of photographic experience. I photograph corporate events, weddings, portraits, and I also do fine art. Today, I want to talk to you about something that I purchased um, begrudgingly because of price, but now that I have and have used it, I, I cannot say enough great things about this flash. This is the Quantum Q Flash Trio 8F8C, or QF8C, excuse me. I'm not going to be long-winded about this review because I think a lot of people get into minutia that just simply doesn't matter or is relevant. I'm going to give you a bullet point review. Um, I've used 580s, 550s, etc., etc., over all my years of photography. And especially with Canon, I've always found that they lack in the ability to provide me enough power and the quality of light has always been that of a flashlight that you buy at Home Depot. You can do something really dumb like I did and buy a Gary Fong dumb thing and it doesn't help. It robs you of two stops of power which means your flash that's already weak as it is is now weak times two. The guide number on the Q Flash Trio, and please double check my, my information on this, because I'm not a techie specs guy. I'm a does it does it work the way I need it to work kind of photographer. But anyway, the guide number on this, from what I understand, is 120. Twice that of a the new Canon 600 for $680. Twice the power at not twice the price. This is $875. You can get them at B&H, Adorama. Um, you can also probably find them at a quality local camera store. Uh, they're very popular amongst the professionals. It seems a little high. Kind of is. I get it. I know the price tag's a little scary because when you have to start buying turbo batteries, then it starts getting expensive. These you can buy used online at two-thirds the price of new. Trust me, do it that way. Because send it into Quantum, they'll clean it up, they'll put a new battery in it for you, and you're still saving a few hundred dollars. That being said, five reasons why I like this flash. Number one, it looks professional. And I know that sounds silly, but when you're dealing with individuals who um, are vanity-driven, and I, and I don't mean that in a Hollywood sense, I mean that as a when you go to a mechanic, you want somebody that's greasy and got dirt under his nails and not some Harvard graduate that has the theory of mechanics um, as their business model. Um, so when you're in a group of individuals that are all shooting the new Best Buy special of the week digital camera and you walk in with this, people are going to go, oh, well, there's the professional photographer. And believe it or not, I have gotten business because of that. Don't underestimate the perception that is greater than reality in most cases. It plugs into a quantum turbo battery. It's you got to have one of these. The bad news is you have to have one of these quantum turbo batteries. The good news is the batteries are not in the flash. The battery is off camera, which means this becomes incredibly light. You can see that it says Canon for Trio there. Number two, the second reason I really, 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 really like this this flash, and I, and I cannot cannot begin to tell you how much I like the flash. Quality of light. If you're a professional photographer, you know that controlling your light, using it as a tool to sculpt your subject, is is invaluable. Because of the parabolic reflector and the diffuser, which by the way just pops on and off, and the shape of the flash tube you're getting studio quality lighting in something that actually weighs less than a 580EX with batteries in it. Or give or take a few ounces. I mean, you're splitting hairs. That's the second reason, quality of light. Third reason, power. These things are just powerful. Now, this is the Trio at 120 guide number. This is the T5DR, 
which is at 160 at 100. This is 120 at 200 ISO, by the way. This is 160 at 100. This is three times as powerful, more than three times as powerful as a Canon 580EX. Three times the power in a, in, a, in a unit that weighs less. We'll get into the T5DR in another review. Third thing I like about this, and this is important, total control over my lighting. From ratios to multiple light settings, I can control everything wirelessly through this from the top of my camera via my menu, and, and, it's, and it's infallible. It, it just works, and that's what I want. When I'm on location and I'm doing an event, I need my stuff to simply work, and I don't want to have to have a user manual in my pocket to get it to work the way I need it to work. This is that way. If you're a professional and understand the concept of flash, fourth thing that I just love about this is it's got auto mode. If you go to the menu and you go into the QTTL and scroll through there, auto fill and auto. Let's talk about auto real quick. Auto uses the sensor right here, okay? Just like the 580EX does. But you don't have to go through custom functions to set it. You just have to hit the, mint, the, the options button and scroll. It's just simpler. Insanely accurate. If you shoot Canon, not Nikon is bad, but Canon, you know that Canon flash systems, well, to be very kind, suck and they're they're not putting any R&D into making them better and that's why I'm transitioning over to the quantums the auto folk the auto function on this is just accurate it just never messes up and especially when you couple that with when you go into the menu and you couple that with the um, the scale the distance you can set this to to say to the flash don't worry about the black backdrop just worry about everything from the flash to 15 feet in front of it everything else beyond that forget it and it's going to properly expose your subject if it's within that 0 to 15 foot range you know as well as I do many many times when shooting a wedding or a corporate event and you've got a white or black backdrop the the, the clothing and the subject matter is just overblown because the system in the flash and camera can't handle it Autofill, and we'll go into the mode on here again. You go mode and you just scroll. Autofill, it's that tool that we all wish we had that was at the tip of our fingers doing an outdoor location shoot like I did yesterday where it's a little overcast and you want the sun behind them because you want that rim lighting on the hair. Put this in autofill. It puts enough light to fill in your shadows and make that subject pop off that background. It's amazing. So that's my fourth reason, is, is the functionality of the flash, okay? The fifth reason, and, and this is going to be kind of a silly reason, but for me the fifth reason is it, it just works. And I, and, and I don't know if that's a reason in as much as it is just a summation of the other things that I just mentioned. It just works. You put it on your camera, you plug it into your battery, you turn it on, and it works. Whether you're shooting in manual mode, aperture priority mode, shutter priority mode, doesn't matter. This, this flash works. It, it is easy to use if you know about flash. If you're a beginner, I, do I recommend this? Uh, I don't know. Um, pick up a used 580, practice with that, understand the concept of flash lighting, Great. If you're a professional and you understand it and you're just really thinking, gee whiz, I'm not getting enough power, horsepower, if you will, out of my 580s and 600 EXs, I need more volume of light, then you have to go to Quantum. It's light, it's portable. Is it affordable? Yeah. I mean, if you're going to, if you do it for a living, you, you need a system that is going to allow you to be that professional that separates yourself from the 900 other people that are weekend warriors that advertise on Craigslist for weddings for 50 bucks. Those idiots don't know anything about this. The people that, that understand photography do understand the quality of this system. You can get many accessories, including soft boxes and octaboxes that just attach right to the front. You just simply unlock this, this pulls out, the accessory goes in where this silver part came out. You can see right here, see the little, the little uh, notches there. Just slide that in, pops right in, turn it, it's locked, it stays in, put, stays in place, stays put. It's great stuff. Uh, I have accessories that I use quite often uh, are a bare bulb enhancer. Um, this just allows me to 
put this behind the flash tube um, to let me shoot more light. Um, you can see how that looks. It takes the light, lets me go up, and just gives me a wider angle out of that. And it's great for big groups, like when you have the big wedding party or the corporate uh, group photo. This works beautifully for that. But bare bulb is where this excels. Those of you like me who bought into the propaganda that is Gary Fong, who uh, is an average photographer but master marketer, one concept he has that is correct is that you want to be able to fill a room with light. I want to be able to fill a room with light but not rob myself of flash power in the process of doing so. And that is what this bare bulb allows me to do, is it allows me to take this reflector off like I just showed you and just shoot it straight up in the air, bare bulb, it's going to fill a room. Couple this wirelessly with three or four others, one in each corner and then one on top of your camera. You will never have shadows and harshness in your lighting again. It's just an amazing tool. Uh, some negatives and, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to conclude the video. Uh, it is it is expensive, uh, no doubt. Eight hundred and seventy-five dollars. I paid eighty dollars for that battery used. Turbos on eBay are one twenty-five to one seventy. Turbo SCs, uh, which I love, but they're tiny, they're light, and they and they just have a lot of power. You know, you catch one used right on eBay, you're still paying two eighty or three hundred dollars for that for that battery, and you have to have turbos to power it. That's the only way you're going to do it. Second drawback is it is a system specific in the sense that. Yeah, you can hook up uh, pocket wizards, but you can only shoot manual on that. To take it full advantage of the wireless TTL and the wireless QTTL is what they call it, in ratios, etc., you have to have quantum flashes set up. And, and I'll show you what I mean. You have to have a T5DR or a T4DR or a T5D and an FW7Q wireless receiver plugged in to the side of the flash. It just plugs in right here. And then now this communicates seamlessly just like Pocket Wizard Flex TT5s do for Canon and Nikon. You have to make a commitment to the system. It's hard to integrate the Canon and Quantum. You can, there are modules, the FreeWire uh, wireless systems have modules that are specific to Canon and Nikon to retain that, etc., etc. But by the time you buy all that stuff to get your, S, your, your, your uh, SB900 or your 500 or 600 EX flash, you might as well just pick up another flash and a, and a wireless adapter for Quantum and just keep it integrated. So that's a negative in, most, in some cases is that you have to commit to this system. The third thing is you have to understand and have an understanding.